Now that we have seen the basics of Word, let's start a practical document and a practical scenario. I have these customers details on Excel. And for these customers, I want to send them a reminder that dear customer, your account number is this and your total amount is this for the month of January. And I want to uh, send this individual email with their personalized name and their personalized information to their specific email IDs. Now this is a confidential information. So you just need to take care that each of the customer receives the email separately and no customer should see information about any other customer. Now I already have a written email template. By the way, you can find both of these templates in the link of this video. Just press escape from the main screen like this and then you will see the course content section on the right. If you can't see that section, you will just go on the corner and you will see the course contents. Just click on that and you will see all the lectures. With this lecture, you will have the resources section. Just click on that and just click on each individual files that I have attached and it will be automatically downloaded. Now let's see our email. It states dear and after dear, there is a space left for the name. That's because this email is a general body of uh, the template that we will use for all of our customers. It will automatically change the name of the customers and similarly uh, the balance of the customers, the month and the account number. It will pick all the information for the individual customers from Excel sheet. So after dear, the name will be mentioned. This is to inform you that your balance uh, after this, it will automatically pick balance from Excel sheet is due for the month of this. It will pick the, up the month and similarly the account number. And then all the payment details are there. Regards team account tech. Now this is the main body of the email. Now, if you notice on this email, uh, there is some areas that are highlighted. If it is highlighted in blue, that means this is a mistake in the basic syntax of the writing. Like balance is between these two words, there are two spaces. So I'll just right click and it will recommend the correct format. It should be with one default space. I'll just click on it and it will automatically be corrected. Now, if it is highlighted in red, that means this word is not in the vocabulary of Microsoft Word. So what we just need to uh, right click it suggests that is it accountancy or accounting. So if we want to use this word frequently, you can just add to the dictionary and then it will not show this correction. Similarly, after name, it should show the colon sign immediately, not after the space. So if we right click on it, see it's recommending the correct format. So similarly, Mizan, this is a bank account name. So obviously it will not be identified by word vocabulary. We can just right click and add to the dictionary as well. And similarly number and similarly code. So we have made all the corrections, whatever word suggested. So you just make that corrections also, and then we will move to the next video.